today we'll be starting with the second part of MRP and uh, the topics that we'll be covering today they are uh, what is reorder point, safety stock, scheduling, MRP run, planning file entry, process of consumption base planning, how to execute MRP, control parameters for MRP run and plant and MRP group parameters customizing. So let us first of all start with our first topic for today which is um, reorder point planning. Okay, so first of all we'll see what is reorder point planning. Okay, so just in general terms, in general life language, we'll see what is reorder point planning. So I'll explain this with, ex with an example. So for example, um, just imagine that you building a new home okay building a new house okay and every day you need say 20 bags of cement which is a conception okay on the day to day basis okay so you need every day you need 20 pieces uh, 20 bags of cement so suppose here you can see in the graph you can see um, stock so today we have say 100 pieces of stock okay and the conception per day is 20 pieces so today we have 100 pieces and on the other side here you can see um, on the other side you can, here you can see the day, uh, days uh, in time in days okay so so today we have you can see 100 pieces of stock now now if I if I'm using 20 pieces of cement bag every day then how many days it will take for me to consume the stock so if you see that graph so if I if I use 20 bags every day in next five days I will consume all the hundred pieces of stock okay and suppose then I will fulfill the stock again with hundred pieces say and again in the next five days I will consume all the stock okay now this process will continue okay but my question to you is shall we place an order here okay should we place an order at this point okay the answer will be no why no because if you place an order on the day when the stock is finishing it might take maybe three days or four days to get the stock okay so it doesn't make any sense that you will be placing an order for the stock on the day when the stock is exhausted okay so that means we need to place an order for the stock in advance okay how many days in advance say if it takes three days for the delivery process then we need to place an order three days before okay so in that case you can see what we call it RLT replenishment lead time okay so we will be um, placing an order three days ahead this is one thing which is known as replenishment lead time. Second thing we need to know is that is fine we need to place the order three days before and another thing we can set up is that okay whenever the stock is 60 pieces okay then we should be placing an order. So the, as soon as the stock will reach 60 pieces as you can see in the graph we need to place an order okay and it, if it, it is taking three days then we will be safe. Okay, after three days the, dog, uh, the stock will arrive and we can again fulfill the stock. Okay, so there will be never any shortage. Okay, so that is the concept of reorder point. Okay, so how the reorder point works in general. Okay, now we'll see the reorder point in SAP language. Now if you look at this graph here, it's explaining the same thing. Okay, so here you can see that is your reorder point. Okay, so this is my reorder point. And here somewhere here we're placing an order. Okay, and this is your replenishment lead time. Okay, that's fine. But here we also need to uh, make another point into consideration which is known as safety stock. What is safety stock? That means if you can say we have 20 pieces of safety stock here. And here I can say this is 60 pieces where we placing an order, reorder point and total stock is say 100. Okay, so safety stock is 20 pieces. So safety stock is something that if something by chance, if there is another requirement, okay, 
then we need to have some stock in safety like we keep the money in our bank just for safety okay so we don't spend all our salary we keep some money for the rainy day just in case something happens so we should have some money in the bank as spare so that's like safety stock we should have some extra stock um, in our uh, warehouse so that whenever there is a shortfall or when there whenever there is a something unexpected happening or like uh, it can be like the delivery can take more than three days. Okay, anything can happen. So in that case, we'll be keeping an eye on safety stock. So we can say, okay, 20 PC is the safety stock. So safety stock we need to maintain always. So that is a safety stock which will keep here all the time so that in any uh, circumstances where we have some uh, extra requirement or maybe the delay in delivery, we can as we can consume the safety stock. Okay, just for any days. So that's your safety stock, that's your reorder point from SAP point of view. Okay, so let's see this one practically. First, we'll just, um, I'll show you some theory. So then we'll do some practicals. So in theoretically, what is reorder point? Reorder point should cover the expected material shortage requirement during replenishment lead time. Okay, so the, by that time the, you get the procurement, it should be uh, covering up the shortage and what is safety stock this should cover any excess material consumption that may occur during replenishment lead time as well as the normal requirement when deliveries are delayed okay which I already explained now the most important point to be noted is safety stock is a part of reorder point because okay, so always remember this this is a very important question that safety stock is a part of reorder point now we'll do some practicals. Um, now I'll show you where the reorder point is maintained. If I go, if I open, if I go to MM02 and open one material, so the, this material we created last time. So if you go to MRP1 tab, here, if you select the MRP type, VB. If I select say PD, just say PD, if I select PD, what will happen? Okay, I selected PD, let me go back, I'll change it. Let me enter one value here. Okay. So let me save it. I'll come back and change again. Okay. So here, when you choose the MRP type, say, which is VB, VB is a standard manual reorder point planning. Okay. So if I select this one, as soon as I select this one, if I press enter, you can see it is showing me a message at the bottom okay specify the reorder point for reorder point planning because I'm using the reorder point planning here it is mandatory to enter the reorder point value here okay so what is your reorder point I can say okay reorder point is say 60 okay I can say 60 press enter looks good it will jump to the next screen and here optionally it's optional that you can also maintain safety stock okay so as per in our scenario I will say 20 pieces is the safety stock okay as per the scenario that we can see here okay so 20 pieces and 100 pieces uh, sorry and 60 pieces are reorder point and 20 pieces the safety stock and I can save it so system will next time consider all these requirements that it will plan as soon as the stock will fall below 60. As soon as stock will fall below 60, it will do the MRP run and will uh, create some requirement. That we'll see in, an, in the next topic soon, that how we can run MRP and it will create the requirement. So um, so that's all about it. And then also, there's a thing called um, net requirement calculation in the reorder point plan. So what is reorder point plan, uh, net requirement calculation? That means Suppose I have a shortage, okay, say I have a shortage here, that means 